Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's live session. So today we are going to continue plants lesson from our science subject. Clear children? So we have learnt about parts of a plant and we have learnt about the flower and parts of the flower in our previous sessions. Okay. Today we will just learn something about types of plants. As we have different type of uh, flowers, uh, like we also have different type of plants here. And what are they, how are they, we are going to learn now. There are different types of plants. We can see many kinds of plants in different places like school garden, in parks and near our home. Yes, so you might have seen so many trees around you children, yes or no? Yes, these days we are growing more trees in our uh, uh, I mean inside our balconies okay even outside our homes and we have so many trees in the school also in the parks on the roads like so so much of greenery around us and in this we I mean even though we have so many trees but so many plants th those are different from each other suppose if we have like this picture we are having a picture no on our slide like it's it's a big plant it's a big plant what do we call this type of plant like a tree we call it as a tree so what is a tree a trees are tall big and strong plants what are trees they are tall big and strong plants when a plant is growing so big and it is tall and it is very much strong that plant is called as a tree we can't uh, call a, a, a tulsi plant as a tree so every house might be having tulsi plant no so how is that tulsi plant it's it's not that much big it's just i mean of a small size or a medium size we can't call tulsi plant as a tree because that is not big tall or strong no so trees are big and strong they usually live for a long time they live for a long time like for years together 10 years 20 years 50 years 100 years they live for a long time and for example some trees like uh, are people tree palm tree ashok tree pine tree and neem tree so you might have seen neem tree children neem tree at the most everyone uh, will be having a neem tree uh, in our streets or uh, near our houses no it's a very big tree and we get fresh air from the neem tree how will the neem tree be so big in size so that's why it it we named it as a tree not a plant okay so same like neem tree we are also having people trees palm trees ashok trees and pine trees and so many so here in our diagram uh, we are having a, a tree picture and see how the parts are there for this tree like down inside the soil we are having roots here then above the soil this part what it is called as trunk what it is called as trunk for plants we call this part as stem stem but for a tree the same part is called as trunk okay children and leaves leaves are common for any plant every plant will have leaf we learnt it and most of the leaves will be in green in color that also we learnt yes or no yes and now branch from this trunk we are getting branches and for that branch we are having leaves and the whole part which includes the branch and the leaves this part is called as a crown what is it called as as a crown Under, understood children yes so these are the parts of a tree so tree is a tall big and strong plant it has long time in the sense it has a long life it live for so many years even though you don't pour water 
like normally for house plants we have to pour water daily no because they are not strong but for trees we don't pour water whenever rain comes they receive the water but that water only will make them to live for a long time okay children understood okay now again shrubs what is the other part i mean other type of plant here shrubs so here in the uh, I mean diagram there is a plant this type of plant is called as shrub yes what are shrubs shrubs are smaller than trees they may be bushy and have many small woody branches some shrubs are hibiscus lantana etc shrubs children like uh, these are smaller than trees when tr trees are big shrubs are small so these small plants are called as shrub they are bushy in the sense see here they have number of leaves if it is a flower plant they will be having flowers and number of leaves so it it is expanded here like this but it does not grow tall and it it does not grow tall like this it 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 is just bushy and it expands in this i mean uh, in this shape okay so and they have small woody branches every plant have branches every plant has branches okay they these shrubs also have small woody branches and there will be many branches because it is so bushy bushy in the sense having so many branches and leaves that we call it as bushy okay it it is not like a single line so it it is expanded like a bush no so that's why it have many branches for example we are having hibiscus Hibic hibiscus i think uh, uh, this plant also most of our uh, houses have this plant uh, which gives beautiful flowers in beautiful colors so many colors yes or no so it, it does not grow tall like a neem tree but it has so many branches it has so many leaves and this plant is called as a shrub children okay now small plants with the soft stems are usually called herbs the other type of plant what is it it is a herb how do this herb be small plants with soft stems are usually called herbs this herb see here here you are having herbs these are small in size and this stems what are stems children this part like where we, we can see uh, the part above the ground for that where we have leaves and also branches huh? okay so these type of plants are called as herbs and for example we have coriander mint spinach and marigold okay coriander we'll use it in our uh, daily cooking okay coriander leaves so they are so light in weight so delicate and so sensitive no very small plants okay mint other name for mint is pudina even th this also we will use in our daily cooking all spinach this also marigold marigold flowers marigold flowers these plants such type of plants are called are herbs because they are very small and they have soft stem they are very sensitive if you hold the stem very tightly of these herbs then that stem will break off it will just break so that sensitive is the stem of these herbs understood children so herbs are smaller than the trees and these herbs are still smaller than the shrubs okay clear okay then the other ones other type of plants what are they climbers and creepers 
climbers and creepers climbers in the name only you are getting the meaning and you can just imagine how the plant will be climber in the sense climbing going up yes or no so some plants have weak stems they cannot stand up on their own they must climb on a stick or a wall for support these plants are called climbers yes see what are climbers children these plants I mean sorry plants which have weak stems weak stems weak in the sense they are not strong they are not strong they are weak very light very sensitive they cannot stand up on their own so when somebody are not able to stand up on their own what we will do we we'll just lend our hand no for a small baby imagine for a small baby if he is not able to stand up and walk on his own what we will do we will just give him our hand our fingers for the support and holding our finger or hand the baby will be able to walk or stand on his i mean stand stand yes or no same like that here also climbers no they cannot stand on their own they need a support and how that support is given with the help of a stick or a wall we make them to stand so you might have observed uh, some uh, uh, climbers uh, in your house if if somebody are having plants in your house like we'll just uh, put a, a stick or we'll just have a stick for the, near that uh, climber so that that part that plant is going to climb along with the stick or it climbs along with the wall it goes to the up, upward direction as the stick is or as the wall is as the support is it starts growing okay such type of plants are called climbers so here in the picture they are given you clearly here so here stick is there and the plant is there it is just climbing along with this stick okay this again here money plant i think most of our houses have money plant children that is why i am repeatedly taking the example of money plant even in previous sessions also so we grow it in uh, water money plant can be grown in water uh, in soil and it is a climber and also a creeper when we give a stick uh, when we give the support to that particular plant it grows along with that support otherwise if you leave it on the ground or uh, in any container it will just grow around it only okay so it comes in all the way this example money plant okay see what is a climber children so which has weak stems which cannot stand up on their own and they take a support of a stick or a wall uh, and they climb these type of plants are called as climbers understood okay children now other plants with weak stems crawl along the ground or called creepers we are having other plants like we said climbers now here creepers creepers in the sense crawling creeping is nothing but crawling in the sense just going around the i mean ground just passing around the ground along with the ground okay for example money plant watermelon bitter gourds etc so here you are, uh, in the diagram we are having a pumpkin and watermelon if you see children these type of plants creepers they'll just grow along the ground only they cannot climb they cannot stand they are not strong they are not big or tall okay they don't have so many bushy leaves only thing is they just crawl along the ground and have weak stems these type of plants are called creepers what do we call them children creepers yes understood yes
so for here again money plant we can take an example creeper even for climber and also a creeper okay now plants live in many different places many plants live on land their roots hold them in one place some live in hot places others may live in cold places in very cold places trees may shed their leaves in winter okay see plants live in many different places yes or no so we have so many uh, i mean uh, different type of climates different type of places and we as i said before also some live in uh, some live on land some live in water okay so wherever they live the roots hold them in one place so all roots whatever uh, roots the plant is going to have it is held in one place and with the help of that roots the plant is going to live and some plants as i said we have different climates okay different type of weather conditions so some plants live in hot places some plants live in cold places okay so if if so if for example if you see uh, we will be having uh, seasonal uh, fruits like uh, uh, mango do mango come uh, on ev every season children can we have mangoes throughout the year from january till january of the next year no we get mangoes only in summer why because that particular tree mango tree can live or can give us fruit only in hot conditions yes or no so because of that we get mangoes in summer S same like that some plants can live only in hot places same like that some plants can live in cold places and for apple if you see apple you can uh, kashmir is very famous for apples because that particular place climate is very good for cultivating apple plants okay children so in very cold places sorry like this so according to the climate like hot or uh, uh, cold climates plants also survive in very cold places what happens sometimes tree may shed their leaves in winter you might have been seen in pictures uh, like in your drawing books or in uh, movies or sometimes or in tv programs sometimes uh, some trees might not be having any leaves no why because in some cold places all the leaves are going to drop off drop off again that that season we call it as autumn actually autumn that comes before winter after rainy season autumn then it comes winter because of this coolness in the weather the plants will not be able to hold the leaves so they shed off the leaves again when spring comes that is before summer when spring comes then the leaves starts growing on we get leaves new leaves okay children understood so plants live in different places some live on land some live in water and some like hot uh, conditions that is some live in hot places some in cold places okay so when there is much cold or much cool, cool uh, coolness in the air plants or trees may shed their leaves okay then as i said some plants live in uh, water those plants here are lotus so for example here we have taken lotus see in the diagram here you are seeing lotus flowers beautiful pink lotus in the water we call them as water plants and they have long stems under the water under the water you cannot see here also you are not able to 
see their roots and the stems they are under the water we are not able to see the stem here because we only the leaf and the flower is seen above the water and this on the water surface and its long stem is under the water this type of plants are called as water plants understood children okay so next plants like throny cacti grow in hot deserts what type of plants throny cacti throny cacti in the sense they have small thorns see cactus here cactus plant is there cactus plant it has small thorns they grow in hot deserts they have deep roots their stems are fleshy and store water even for rose also we have some small thorns no you might have observed that if you touch the rose plant no you will have a pain because you will hit with the thorn of the rose plant okay so here throny cacti throny this like is uh, why it is throny cacti actually the plant is a cactus plant because it has thorns on the plant we call it as throny cacti where does this grow it grows in hot deserts see this plant likes hot climate that's why it grows in desert areas and how are the uh, roots of this plant they have deep roots they have deep roots and their stems they are fleshy and store water so you cannot see a separate stem on, of this plant children if you observe see here for rose plant we are having stem and then we are having leaves and flower okay so here the total plant is of stems only there are no leaves here if you observe this total part is of stems only and these stems are fleshy and store water they store water inside themselves because it is a desert they don't have water no deserts don't have water and what to have life what does this plants do they store water so whenever they get rain and uh, any water uh, sources are there the store the water is stored in their stems and because of that they are able to live in the desert areas okay children so plants which are uh, uh, like cactus type of plants they live in hot deserts and they have deep roots understood yes so now we'll just have some question and answers here so whatever we have learnt and uh, until now we'll just revise it in the form of question and answers see weak stemmed plant that spreads on the ground is weak stemmed plant as we said the stem of the plant is very weak and it crawls on the ground crawl the answer is in the question only crawling in the sense creeping and the answer here is creeper is yes or no the answer here is creeper so creepers are weak stemmed plants that spread on the ground clear children okay the next question for us rose is meant for shrubs what is grape meant for in the sense what we are trying to ask you is rose plant is a shrub type of plant Ro because it is very bushy uh, it has so many branches and leaves so that's why we call it as shrub which one rose plant is a shrub now grape grape what is a grape plant like how is a grape plant have you seen children grape gardens wine gardens it it climbs it climbs up with the support of uh, sticks or wall then what type of uh, plant it becomes huh? 
Answer is given here. Climber. What is it? It is a climber. Okay, children? Climber. Because it is able to climb. It climbs. Not able to. It climbs through the sticks or any support. So, that is why it is a climber. Understood? Okay. We will go to the next question here. Yes. The part of a flower that produces the male reproductive cells. Actually, this we have uh, learnt in our previous session. So, now, if anybody is with the answer, then it is really appreciable. The part of a flower that produces the male reproductive cells. So, we said flower has so many parts. Uh, then, um, like a pistol is there. Staples are there. So, again in staples there are some more parts. Okay, like here we are having anther, style, stigma and filament. Okay, so which part is going to produce the male reproductive cells? cells sorry, we are also having female reproductive cells also in a flower. Now we have to name our male reproductive cell. What is it children? Anyone with the answer? Yes, it is anther. That is the first one. Anther. Understood? Yes. The next question. Here it is brightly colored parts of flowers that attract insects. What are they? Brightly colored parts of flowers. We already said that we have different type of plants, different type of flowers with beautiful colors. And what are, what is the colored part of the flower called? And it attracts insects also, I said. It attracts insects also. Yes. What is it called as? Yes, it is petals. It is petals. We call them as petals. So, understood children? Okay. Now for the next question. Here. Yeah. Which plant needs external support to stand? Which plant needs external support to stand? And the options are herbs, climbers, shrubs and trees. The, I mean the answer is in the options, I mean the same word. The answer resembles the word, the same meaningful word here. Herbs, climbers, shrubs and trees. Which plant needs children to, go, to stand and to grow? Yes. Is it herbs? Herbs are small in size. Shrubs are bushy. Climbers will climb. Trees are big. Then, then our answer becomes what? Climbers. Yes. Good. Then the next question children. Hope you are able to understand. Which plant can grow in very low or no water for a period of time? Which plant can grow in a very low or no water for a long period of time? So we have discussed this in the beginning of our session here. So this is a type of a tree and even though it does not uh, have any water uh, uh, source it is able to grow and it lives for a long period of time what type of plant is this called so we are here giving the name of the plant we are not asking here which type we are giving the name is it a mango plant neem plant tulsi plant or a cactus plant can anyone answer children so, cactus, we said that it grows in the desert. Tulasi again is a shrub. Neem is a tree. Mango is also a tree. Now, what is our answer? Cactus. Cactus. Which plant can grow in a very low or no water for a long period of time? As we said, 
this cactus grows in the desert and as i said desert we do not get water there is no source of water but still we are able to grow this cactus because the stems of this cactus they store the water and they are able to survive understood children yes now the next question which option will replace x in the table see here we are given some different type of trees in the red area again which comes which tree comes under that category that we have written in the green area now for example for trees we made a mango and orange shrubs rose and jasmine now climbers and creepers pumpkin and this we have to name it you have to give me the answer for this whether it is cucumber banyan apple or lotus which plant from this these options come under climbers or creepers which plant will come any guesses children can lotus be a creeper or climber where does lotus grow it grow in water so it is not a climber or a creeper okay apple is a tree no no it's not a climber again banyan that is also a big tree so not a climber or a creeper what is left with us now cucumber that is our right answer what is it cucumber so a option is the right answer understood children so you have to give me the answers like you have to just type the uh, like this letter the correct is yes, children now we'll just look at wheat what is wheat wheat is a dash so is it a tree is it a shrub is it grass or is it a climber what type of plant is this have you seen wheat tree children wheat plant sorry wheat plant yes so if you have seen or if you have come across uh, this wheat plant anywhere then you you'll be able to easily identify so is it a climber grass shrub or tree any guesses yes wheat is a grass it is a grass type of plant wheat grass we we also take wheat grass in our drinks wheat grass it is very good for uh, health if you have this wheat grass water okay so it's good for health also understood okay we'll go to the next question now what is it match the column 1 with column 2 so we have to match yes children so here in column 1 so we are having uh, some uh, information again column 2 some information so we have to just match it like in column 1 if you see tall and strong plants are called what plants which grow with the help of support are called dash short and bushy plants are called dash plants which are very short and have soft stems are called dash now we'll go with the first one that is a option a1 tall and strong plants are called what are they called as tall and strong plants for example we said neem tree neem tree okay oh i am only giving you the answer here i named it neem tree then the answer is a matches with the the third option that is trees we'll go to the b sec, b option here plants which grow with the help of support with the help of support we call them as yes that is the first one climbers plant which grows with the help of support is climbers 
Now again, see what is it? Short and bushy plants are called short and bushy plants with so many branches and leaves are called as what, children? Any answers? It's shrubs. Good, it is shrubs. And plants which are very short and have soft stems are called which are very short and have short stems. For example, coriander mint that is known as which option is remaining here for us obviously the second one that is herbs no? so climbers herbs trees and shrubs okay children so according to this from our a b c d options which option is the correct answer for us yes it is the b option a is matching with the third one b with the first one c with the fourth one and d with the second one so b option is the correct answer understood children clear okay we'll go to the next question again which plant among the following is a terrestrial plant terrestrial plant which plant among the following is a terrestrial plant here are Palisneria, water lily, hydrilla and neem. Neem. Okay. So, valisneria, water lily, hydrilla and neem. So, which plant grows on the land surface? Any guesses children? We have taken this example. Yes, it is neem. Neem plant. This is our right answer. It grows on the land surface. Clear? Okay, now we will go to the next one again. Dash plant grows in hot and damp area. Hot and damp. Hot is very hot climate. Damp in the sense it's, uh, it's slightly wet. In the sense uh, the air in, the, in that particular climate will have little moisture. Little moisture. That type of uh, area is called as damp area they are hot and they carry little moisture in the air that type of area is called as damp understood children so which type of plants grow here cactus people coconut or banyan cactus as we know they grow where in the deserts people again a big tree Coconut is a plant. Most of the coconut trees, uh, if you know, they, uh, they are grown in our uh, neighboring state. That is Kerala. We get more coconut trees there. Okay. Banyan again, a big tree. Okay. So now guess which will be the correct answer. Okay. Yes, that is the C option. Coconut trees. Coconut trees grow in hot and damp areas okay climate will be hot and you uh, they have a slightly very little moisturizer they are very uh, they are slightly wet so this type of area is very much suited for coconut plants yes now we'll go to the next question what is that this plant has thrones on it and does not require much water to grow I think everybody can give me the right answer for this question. This plant has thrones on it and does not require much water to grow. We have learnt about this. Is it coconut, cactus, people or neem? What is the right answer children? Yes, the right answer is cactus. As we learnt. Throny cacti, I said that throny cacti grows in desert. Why? It has thrones and I mean it is in growing in desert. So even though there is no water, it is growing there. So that's why the correct answer is cactus. Understood children? So yes. So that's all for today. Take care. Goodbye. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates.